Good morning, everybody. Hey, it's been about a month or so. Lord, I've been chasing those turkeys hard, and man, I'm, let me tell you, it's been a, one of the hardest seasons I've had thus far. You know, sometimes things just don't turn out like you want to, but man, I uh, had the opportunity toward the end to work some birds and uh, just had a good time. But anyway, I'm in a new spot this morning. I'm on the edge of my hometown along this ditch here, and I pulled out a couple I hadn't filmed <clears throat> I found a, a Pat D Coke from Starville, Mississippi. That's in pretty good shape. It doesn't have any chips. And then I walked up. That's going to be an old 7 Up. I believe that's from 1945. Of course, the ACL's rubbed off of it. Anyway, I was standing here where I picked that 7 Up up. 7 Up at. I don't know if you can see this. There's another bottle right here. And I don't know. It looks modern. Well, let's pick it up and see if we if it's something. And that's just gonna be a be a modern beer, but from the way it looked through the water, I thought it was something good. But I got a little bit ways left to go. And of course, that's not really the age bracket that uh, I'm really wanting to find right here. But um, maybe we'll walk down through here and find something older. They they threw a lot of rocks and stuff in this thing several years back, and. I don't know if most of the good stuff got destroyed or what, but uh, I believe that's plastic. No, that's something. Old food jar. I'll pick that up on the way out. But anyway, y'all stay with me. Hopefully, we'll find another goodie before we uh, get out of here. Guys, there's another Coke sticking up. I'm pretty sure it's old painted label. And it is. It's not going to have any age on it at all. Set that right there. And then... Here's another one, and that appears to have some green to it. That's the old ACL, that's the old Royal Crown Cola. So there's some bottles in here. I just haven't found any older glass yet. And then, this looks like an ACL of some sort. That's old Suncrest, and then there's one right up under it. This is in bad shape. Let me set it back over here as well. Hey, at least we're finding some bottles. There's a the bottom of one. That looks to be newer as well. Let's see what this is. That looks like a newer, more modern Coke right there. And it's intact. Huh, that's a knee high. With the ACL rubbed off. So then there were several in one spot right there. So hopefully we'll get lucky and pull out a show enough good one in a minute. So anyway, y'all stay with us. Here's two screw tops. I ain't really sure what that would have been. That's some kind of med. And that there is a whiskey. Let's see if I can tell what year it's from. Looks like I see a 64 on the bottom, so. No telling how long that stuff's been laying here. I know I got down in here a while ago when I saw a huge snake and I backed out. Kind of gave me the hibby-jibby, so I backed out and I found me another spot to get in. So, anyway, that's a pretty good little spot right there. Had a lot of glass in it. If I run across anything else, I'll come back to you. All right, guys, there's one laying in the water. I can't tell if that's a crown type or a screw type. Probably, more than likely, it's going to be modern. And that's not. That's an ACL, old ACL new grape. Uh, if I had to guess, probably from the 40s. Got the ACL rubbed off on it. Set that on the bank right there. Got a nice pretty green color to it. And a whole lot cooler if it had been embossed. Those deep pockets right there, you really got to look because this water, <clears throat> fortunately, is pretty clear this morning. It's hard to see down in there where it's real deep. Luckily, most of these, it's been real shallow and I've been able to make the outlines of the bottles pretty good. But anyway, my truck, my truck is back that way. So I'm going to go back and uh, walk back the way I come and hopefully the water is undisturbed. So you can see where I'm walking. It's disturbing it a little bit. Anyway, y'all stay with us. 
Guys, here's one right here that appears to be older, but I really can't tell till I pull it out. Let's see. Oh my God. Lord, y'all, that's a straight side Coke from West Point. I knew they were in here. Ooh, that one's in good shape. Now I've got one like this. I think this is gonna be an aqua one. Oh man, what a fine, what a fine. And look, when I first saw it, I thought it was broken. I was hoping, I'm not gonna lie, I'm tickled with it, but I was hoping that was gonna be a straight side Ackerman. Look at that pretty color. And you can see the scum on the outside. Y'all, there's nothing, nothing, nothing wrong with that one. It's got some wear on it, but uh, considering that's, you can see it's blown in a mold right there. Considering that's about a hundred year old bottle. I'd say it's been doing pretty good stuck right there for, the, for, for all these years. But you know what they say, where you find one, there's always more. And I wish you, I wish I could get down in that bottle right now and get that stuff out from the inside of it. But uh, I'll get that thing cleaned up and I'll come to you at the end of the video. All right, let's see if we can find some more. Might not can see this on the camera either, but you know, it's real shallow right here and you can see these rocks. You see the outline of this right here? It's just kind of easy to see. That's going to be an old uh, whiskey. I can't make that out. That's probably 50s or 60s, though, until it had a label on it. But it's got some pretty good designs on it. Let me lay that, lay that there, son. Pick it up on the way out. Whew. Man, so I'm about to run out. I think it's going to get too deep for me right up here. But I got another spot I'm going to go to right after this. But, man... I don't find anything else that straight side cokes to die for. So anyway, I'll stay with to be another whiskey. Let's see what we got. And that is, that's gonna be pretty, pretty modern. 60s or so. Y'all stay with it. Guys, I almost missed this one. I don't know if you can see that right there. It was, it was standing right at my foot. It's really deep right there. And I was wondering how I was gonna get around. Tell you I got scared of them snakes. And I, just from the feel of it, I think that's a Royal Crown Cola. And I was correct. That's gonna be the '60s variety. It had a, you can't really see it right here. It's got a di had a diamond shaped uh, ACL on it. I can't complain about pulling out bottles today, though. I pulled out several, and pulled out one really good one. Probably, probably one of the oldest ones I found. I think I found older stuff, but um. It has definitely been a good one. I think I'm gonna go up here and go around. I didn't film it, but back here on this little bar, there's a ton of glass. So this will definitely be a spot I come back to every time it uh, comes a big rain. Y'all stay with us. Well, I screwed up and went ahead and picked this one up. I thought that was just a, uh, a modern beer bottle, but that's a, you can see it, that's an embossed box. And I don't think it's that old. Let me clean the bottom of it off. I can't tell. Let's see. 1955, 56. No, it's 55, so that is a fairly old one. So we will take that one with us also. I'm about to run out of room. Uh, but anyway, it's been good. I'm going to turn around and walk back. And like I said, I got, think I got time. I'm going to hit another spot before we go. So y'all stay with us. All right, guys. I'm in spot number two this morning. And listen, I have no more than walk down the hill. Do you see it? <clears throat> I seen it shining from up top. Now that's old, I can just look at it and tell you. I'm not real sure what it is. Let's pull it. And it's not embossed, but that is a old beer. Lord and mercy. Aqua blue color. Oh, let me clean it out. God, it's beautiful. Man, what a morning. Let me do it one more time. Now, 
Now you can see it. Let me see what's on the bottom. And look, it's unembossed, but gosh, dog, look at that. Look how pretty that is. And let's read what it says on the bottom. It says ABCM. And if I'm not mistaken, that's a Dolphish Bush or American Beverage Company. I'd have to go back and look at that, but it says ABCMCO and then B4 in the middle. That's going to be one of your older ones. I can just tell by the top. And let me see if that's blown. Yeah, that's definitely blown. The same line stops about right there where my thumb is. What they find. So I'm going to sit that right there. And I just walked down here. All right, so I'm going to walk this thing. If I find something else, I'll come back to you. I don't know if y'all can tell it. <clears throat> it's real overcast this morning. And, of course, this part is shaded versus the other part I was at. And it's really hard to see down in that water. So have I walked past something? You bet, more than likely. But check this out. If I miss it, I can come back on a better day and find it. So that'll be a future trip. <clears throat> Just like wildlife, you wouldn't want to kill all the bucks or all the turkeys you got in one spot because you want to leave some for next year. So anyway... I just got a feeling I'm going to find something else in a minute, so y'all stay with us. Now I'm at stop number three, and I don't have my potato rake. It's a spot where I dug, I don't know, a year or so ago, and uh, a lot of older glass, and I found some intact stuff, but I was just walking. That was sticking right there, and that's a cork top. That same line goes all the way to the top. That's probably going to be from the 20s, but I don't I don't know how I, uh, <laughs> how I walked past that. Or left it the last time, but anyway, so I found something. So, anyway, if we find something else, we'll let you know. Well, guys, I had a good little walk about this morning. Listen, this is the first I, I was just thinking. I think the last time I went digging was in Aliceville, about the fur, maybe the end of the first week in March. So, it's been almost two months since I've been out or uploaded anything. But let me tell you, it feels good to uh get back after it this morning look i didn't tell you at the, at the first of the video but <clears throat> everything i do i, try, I do 100 percent. and if you don't watch sometimes you can let that go overboard in your life and something that you enjoy or have a passion for it turns into an obsession and if you don't watch it it'll become an idol in your life and uh to tell you the truth that's that's how i let turkey hunting get uh this year and i'm kind of embarrassed by it but um i had a really good season last season killed a once in a lifetime bird abandoned one on public land which probably probably only one out of every 10 hunters will probably accomplish that and, and i don't know the odds but they're they're really low um but anyway just had high hopes for this year and things didn't work out uh my out-of-state trip didn't turn out like it wanted to but you know, <clears throat> through the good and the bad, the good Lord's blessed me in the past, and I know he's probably using this to set me up for something greater in the future. So you got to be humble in victory just as you do defeat. But the biggest thing is uh, what I've got out of it is just like it's bottle hunting. You know, if I go out and I don't find anything, um, it doesn't matter. I just really need to think about what I'm allowed to do by him and... Um, just the enjoyment of it and and i had a great morning this morning i found two uh 200 year old bottles which i'll get cleaned up and show you at the end of the video but um you know just take every day as a blessing and, and just try to even when things don't work out you know uh my daddy has a famous saying life's full of disappointments this is just one of them so you're probably gonna have more disappointments in life than you will successes but uh you just need to be joyful keep that faith and uh and just move on so anyway i'll get these bottles cleaned up i just wanted to share that with you and miss kathy if you're watching i got my seatbelt on so uh y'all stay tuned all right guys here's the two finds of the day all cleaned up there's that straight side coca-cola and you can probably see cleaned it up a little bit and there's still some water in the bottom if you see that that's a straight side coke from west point mississippi that i found at the first place i was at Cleaned up really nice. And that one has a little aqua blue color to it. So another one I have is green. And then, then, there, then there is that uh, ABC beer. 
If I'm not mistaken, that stands for American Brewing Company. And it cleaned up really nice as well. So I had a blessed morning back, y'all. Hey, I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all go like the video and go subscribe to the Jones Boys.